So before it gets too hot today, I wanted to finally get around to doing this comparison between the Works Hydra shot and a normal garden hose with a normal handle at the end of it. So I've got two different things here that I'm going to clean off with both of them. And the right side is going to be the Hydra shot of both units. The left side is going to be just the garden hose. So I'm not going to really do any sort of timer for this thing, for these. I'm just going to clean them off as anybody normally would. Um, you guys can picture about halfway is where the cord is, pull cord, and then this hose right here. So it's not going to be, you know, completely scientific, but I'm going to do this and probably speed the clips up just a little bit, and uh, hopefully we can make a determination. Pretty sure the Hydra shot's going to win, but we'll see. Now for starters, we're going to begin with the pressure washer frame. And I chose this mainly because there's a lot of different things on it just besides just dirt and grime. Uh, it looks like there's uh, probably some oil that's leaked onto it from the motor that was on it before. So this should give both of these tools, or both the garden hose and the hydro shot, a workout and see which one removes, you know, oily deposits the best. Let's start with the garden hose. But it doesn't look like it made much of a difference. I think we can already I think we can already see where this is going to go. So I'll just continue to wash this with the garden hose a couple more times, see if we can even make a dent in it, and then we'll take the hydro shot to it. Looks like it is removing a little bit, but it's mainly just dirt and whatever's loose on top. It's not pulling off. Any of the grime that's been on there it looks like for a while. As you guys can see, it's still, there's still quite a bit of stuff here. And with my finger, it comes right off. So a garden hose is not going to remove that. Let's try this. There we go. You can already see it's made a difference. So you guys can see right there, it's definitely made a difference. Now this is normally a job that I de dedicate to an actual pressure washer. I wouldn't necessarily dedicate the Hydra shot to this job, but I just wanted to show you guys how good it would, how it would perform. We'll try it a little bit closer with the hose. And when you're a lot closer with the hose, it seems to remove a lot more. But it doesn't remove everything. The, work, the hydro shot just takes the rest of it off, for the most part, that the hose missed. Definitely takes a lot more off and a lot less time than the hose does. All sorts of stubborn grease, and dirt that's not coming off. The hose is taking off the bigger stuff that's more loose, like dirt clods but it's not removing but it's not removing any of the deposits that are on this lawnmower. Now of course, if you were to stand right up close to this thing and just continue to hold it in the same spot, it does take it off. 
but who's going to do that? Who's going to spend that amount of time to clean one of these things off with a regular garden hose? And you could just use this and see how much they see how much quicker it takes all this grease off. It takes it off a lot quicker than the garden hose does. Like I said, the clear winner here is the Hydra shot. I mean, it's really not even worth comparing the hose much more. But I will because I know I'm going to be asked that question. It doesn't really make much of a difference. It'll take the stuff off, but it takes a lot more time to do so. So all in all, I think this is a good product and it's well worth the money. Just as I said, as long as you don't expect more out of it than what it can give, it does just fine. You can get it off of eBay, off of their outlet store. You can actually get it quite a bit cheaper than buying it new anywhere else. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more. You all stay classic.